We have here a released free response question from AP Chemistry. This is an energy question from 1971. Given the following data for graphite and diamond at 298 Kelvin, we have entropy data and we have free energy table data. Consider the change of carbon going from graphite to diamond, which is something you can do with the help of a diamond anvil press. And what are the values for the change in entropy and the change in enthalpy for the conversion of graphite to, di to diamond? That shouldn't be too bad. We'll do products minus reactants. And then perform a calculation to see if it's thermodynamically feasible to make diamond from graphite under those conditions. Well, once you have delta S and you have delta H and note you have the temperature, we can calculate the free energy. And let's find the equilibrium constant K, right? This will be from the formula K equals negative RT times the natural log of K, rearranged for K, and we should be able to do each of those. Doing products minus reactants for entropy, we get a very small value for the entropy, slightly negative. Notice that's calories. Doing something similar, products, that's diamond minus reactants, graphite, for our heat of formation data, we get a delta H, uh, also slightly negative. That's the end of part A. They want the values, and we got them. Notice this is kilocalories, and that's calories, so be careful when you punch that in here. Um, we are converting the kilocalories to calories, and so we have like units. This gives us a slightly negative uh, free energy valuable, value, value. Sometimes we say that's spontaneous, but boy, I don't think that graphite spontaneously turns into diamond. We have a huge activation energy to overcome. However, it doesn't indicate that we have feasible conditions. And finally, part C, an equilibrium constant. Here is the rearranged form of our relationship between free energy and equilibrium. Plugging in our values, we find that we have a negative number for the K value, something I don't think I've ever seen before, below zero. This is the AP Chemistry free response question regarding energy from 1971.